Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia, the definitive edition with the latest of games. On the last episode we continued on through side quest hell. We did a little side quest in Jorgen concerning some swimsuits because Raven thought that was important. And um, we also discovered a little bit more about the town itself by looking at a red box that happened to be the one that we left there seemingly 1000 years ago. It was a whole thing. We also came here to Capua Torum and learned a little bit more about Patty at the lighthouse, which was a lot of fun. And I think we did a couple of other things, but if you want to see all that and you haven't already, it's in the last episode. Go ahead and watch it if you feel like it. But for now, I think we're going to head on and do some more side quests because we're still in side quest hell, but I'm, I'm determined to get out of it. So let's go ahead and do some side quests. I believe we're going to start in Arnian. All right, looks like uh, the guy here at Arnian is finally available to speak to. Let's let's talk to him again. Hi. Hey there, Yuri. Did you manage to collect the materials? Give Might Orb, Trent Flower, Crystal, Mystic Orb, and Great Leo Fang. Hell yeah. Hand over Might Orb, Trent Flower, Crystal, Mystic Orb, and Great Leo Fang. Sorry to keep you waiting. This should do, right? Yep, is exactly what I need. It might must have been tough getting it all. Nah, it wasn't so bad. True. I guess something like this would be a piece of cake for you. Haha, <laughs> cut the crap. You're just trying to butter me up for something really tough now, huh? Nothing gets past you, does it? You should come back. The Flynn could use your help. I've got my own work to do. Besides, I'm helping as enough as besides, I'm helping enough as it is, aren't I? Well, I guess that's more your style anyway. So, what's next? This next one is the last request I'll make of you. With this, we should have everything we need. I'm gonna need one green light stone, one pitch black ink, one rare metal, and... Well... And what? Come on, spit it out. It's hard to say. I don't feel right asking you for this. So it's gold then. Just say it like it is. You're still as hesitant as ever, I see. And you're still as perceptive as ever. You're right, it's galled. So how much do you need? Uh, about 500,000 galled. With that, we'll be able to have any remaining resources we need shipped in. Okay, so that's a green light stone, a pitch black ink, a rare metal, and 500,000 galled. I know it's a lot, but I'm counting on you, Yuri. I promise, this is the last time. Gasha, be patient, okay? Huh? Well, okay then. We do have all of those, but I guess I can't give it to you yet. We'll come back later. It's fine. All right, we are here on Mount Temza. I believe we're supposed to have a scene around about the city here. So let's try this, shall we? What the? There are Critians here? I wonder what they're doing in a place like this. Hey, it's you. We heard that Nyorzo's days of floating in the sky might soon be over, so we've been scoping out places to live on the surface. I don't think you need to rush or anything. After all, Krona still hasn't made the decision whether or not to turn into an elemental spirit. And our goal was to gather together the full ele four elementals, which we've already done. I see. What should we do, then? I think you have to figure that out for yourself. But perhaps it would be a good idea to use knowledge of the Critia to help people in need. Hmm. That sounds hard. I don't think it does at all. I don't suppose something like this would be of much use to anyone. There's no way anyone would be able to use an arcane spear art like this. Could I see that? For a race that's mostly pacifists, the Critia certainly have a lot of artifacts that are related to fighting, don't they? It's possible that our people came up with them back when we fought the Artifagos a thousand years ago. There are many arts that, you, that our own people do not use. Perhaps we only worked out the theory, but never put them into practice. Wow, amazing. 
For a Critian, you are very skilled. I think this could come in handy. I see. We cannot lend you our force in battle, so we shall lend you our wisdom. We're happy to do whatever we can if it will help you in your quest. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Hey, that strike art you did just now was really... Basic? Yes, I was just beating my spear hard against the ground. There's a trick to it, but it's not really that hard to do. It looks like they never tried to do it themselves. The Critian people... The Critian people could do things like this if they tried. Then they'd discover all sorts of new abilities they didn't know they had. Like you, Judy? <laughs> exactly. Judith Blair to the Sundering Moon Arcade Arts. It's basic, but it's arcade. Sure, whatever you say, game. That makes sense. Okay, <laughs> now that we're done here, I'm gonna head on to the next place, or at least try and get up here. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, looks like uh, our guy is back here. I did a few fights, I slept a couple times, and he returned. Take my money. How's it going? Have you managed to find everything? Hell yeah, we have. Handed over green light stone, pitch black ink, rare metal, and 500,000 gold. This should be everything. Yes, it is. I'm so sorry for putting you to all that trouble. I'm sure it was rough getting all that money without Flynn noticing. Stop. Each of us did what we could. You're right. You really have grown up. Come on, cut me some slack. Enough with the jokes, man. <laughs> Seems like you still can't take a compliment after all these years. But really, thank you. I don't know what would have happened without your help. So you think that this will be able to help with the town's development? Yes. I'm going to use everything you gave me to help bring everyone together again. Alright. Good luck with that. I'll hope for the best. Come back and see us again before too long, alright? We'll definitely come back and see the town, hopefully, in a more developed state. <laughs> hopefully. Oh, okay. Uh, I was just checking around a few different places and it looks like we have a scene here, so let's go, shall we? Whoa, where do you come from? I... I just feel at home here. It soothes me. Listen, when I fell off Zauda, you were the one who saved me, weren't you? Duke couldn't have done it alone. Indeed. So you were also at the Sands of Kalgor. Yuri thought he saw you there. In other words, you've conveniently saved my act twice now. You better thank her then! No, he need not thank me. This is merely how things have played out. Unfortunately for you, people who get saved tend to be pretty grateful. There is also the matter of Duke ordering me to save you. Why do you support Duke so heavily? What's in it for you? Maybe the better question is who she's into. Hmm? Are you in love? I had not considered that I might be emotionally invested. So why then? To carry on father's legacy. Your father? Father accompanied Duke on a long journey, fighting by his side all the while. He was rarely moved, but Duke's journey gave him ineffable joy. Ineffable joy, even. They became close friends, and so I felt there was a debt to be paid. Ah, oh, so you're Lucifer's daughter. Whoa, a whole Adelikea family! It is incredibly rare, particularly since we Adelikea have evolved to be born of the air itself. Ah, no wonder you all look so unique. I've not met another Adelikea with relatives apart from myself and my father. But I feel just as you do when it comes to family. I felt that I had to help my father's closest friend. Did the knights also act on Duke's behalf? My guess is they were just keeping tabs at Alexei. They Then they'd report his mo movements back to Duke, right? Correct. But in the end, Duke chose the toughest path. There's still time. If we can defeat the Autofagos, there'll be no need for Duke to fight. I 
Hey, we can take him out and play, you mean? True. He would escape unscathed. Perhaps even return to a life of peace and tranquility. So what I'm hearing is, we need to get rid of these those beasts in the sky yesterday. Heck yeah! Hey, Sylphie. The way you talk about him. That's love, honey. I... While that may be true, it is in the past. I am no longer Chroma. I am a spirit of the wind now, the gentle breeze at his back, and the whisper in the trees guiding him to safety. Well, that was really sweet. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna look for more stuff, so see you guys when I find anything. Oh, okay. Uh, we have a scene here at the hot springs now, apparently. All these things that I didn't expect. Let's have a look at this. Hot springs! Hot springs! Flynn, is something the matter? You all go on ahead. I just remembered an errand I have to attend to. Did he forget to bring soap? He'll be right back. Let's wait for him inside. Flynn left the party. Flynn, what the frick? Come back! Are you gonna get Flynn? Nope. I'm waiting inside until he comes back. Well, you better head on in then. Head on in then. I can't speak. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's just head on into you, Manju. I didn't expect anything more here. I was just gonna do some capsule machines, but okay. Uh, do we just talk to the lead? Is this a lady or is this a man? I don't know. You're just a non-gendered entity now. Welcome. Oh, I'm so happy to see you again. Would you like to make a reservation? Yes, please. Then take your time. All done with that errand, Flynn? Yeah, I just needed to find a messenger. You seem so different without your armor on. I didn't think you had any other clothes. A fully armored knight in a hot spring would just scare the other visitors. Alright, so should we take turns going in again? Aww. There's nothing to awe about. Apologies for being late, Captain. We received your urgent message. Huh? You called them here? Good. I'm glad you got here all right. You're both free of your duties while we're staying here. Captain Flynn, I don't quite understand your orders. He's saying you're off duty, darling. Yes, exactly. Then we shouldn't be in uniform? A grand, oh. a grand idea. Nothing better than, to, than a dip in a hot spring to soothe the weary soul. Indeed. So shall we? Princess Estelise? This, the girls get to go first. Come on, let's go inside. No, thank you. I'm fine. Oh, are you sure you want to reject such kindness from your captain? Uh, it's just oh, it's just us lasses in the water. The they just pulled her in. Oh, it's fine. I guess we'll just relax here until they come back out. Oh, okay! Witcher looks so out of place here! <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> so and Witcher, okay. Sure, Flynn, sure, why not? Hi, hi Raven, how you doing? That springs rule. Man, I wish I could take a nice long dip every day. I mean, sure, why not? Hi. Hi, Carol. How you doing? Aren't you worried at all, Yuri? You seem to ready to have it out with Rita. Ah, uh, 
Being together isn't so bad. It'd be nice if we could make friends with Flynn's subordinates, too. I don't know, that might be a bit difficult for Yuri and Sonia. Just, you know, considering. Are you just... Uh, while we're doing a side quest? No! <laughs> okay, I didn't know if that was going to be new and it wasn't. Okay, hi Flynn! Do you have any interest in this at all, Witcher? Um, yes! I'm intrigued by the mechanisms. They seem quite primitive. You can stop looking and give them a try if you'd like. It's a tent. How did it fit inside such a, such a small place? Oh, a lottery gel. These are fun. You never know what you might get. Um, actually, I'm more interested in how the container works. They look like father and son! Brothers more like it. Raven? Flynn? What's going on? <laughs> also interesting to see more of Flynn's dynamic with his subordinates here, because this definitely wasn't in the base game. I'm, I'm curious. Hi. I bet Rita analyzed this container already. Something tells me no good can come from this. Well, gambling or from Rita? <laughs> Do you have more to say, Carol? Uh, nope. Okay, I, I guess we'll just head on and see what the guys are talking about. Captain Schwan. Ugh! Y you want me to have a heart attack, Flynn? Captain Schwan. Who the heck is Schwan? I'm rich. Schwan. That's a crime. Uh. What? What tipped you off? My knight's intuition. I swear, that old man. Wait, was he gonna go and peep on the girls and... Raven. Raven, what the freak? What are you doing, old man? What the heck's keeping Flynn? How long is he planning on staying in there? Wait, is he testing me? This new commandant's scary. Staying where? Over there? I don't get it, but okay. Hi, repeat. Woof. I'm glad you're having a good time. Hi, Flynn! Raven is... Never mind. Huh. Let me think a bit. Yeah, he, he's... He, he takes a while to kind of grow on you. Don't worry. <laughs> Where have you been? It's our turn! Hurry up! Right. I've told him there's no need to be so considerate of us. Then you know how much Flynn cares about you. Of course. It's why his subordinates all trust him so much, not only as a knight, but as a person. Ah. Uh, Aye! It's his compassion as well as his intensity that makes him a good leader. Yes, exactly. Really? You don't think he's too soft? I still can't believe someone so green around the edges got to be acting commandant. Ouch, Rita. That's harsh. You know nothing about him. He is the one who forced your inclusion in the first place. Excuse me? Captain Flynn was the one who respected your wish to avoid going into the Shiko's ruins. Even though I advised him to order you to fulfill your duties as a researcher from Ospio. Like I said, he's soft. Flynn asked you to join him? Rita and the Flynn Brigade? Now that'd be a sight worth seeing. It would have stifled me to death, I just know it. Rita, even if that's how you really feel, you shouldn't say something so horrible. Ah, uh, it's alright. Rita does trust Flynn, after all is said and done. G good. Because if she didn't, then it would, uh, be, uh, bad. Oh my, why would that be? 
because Captain Flynn has recognized all of you as his companions. Oh my. Come on, let me in too. Uh, guys, it's wide out conditions in here. I can't see a thing. Your glasses are just fogged up, Witcher. Oh, right. I'll go take them off. Watch out in front of you! You're gonna run into the door! Alright, alright, hold on. Don't move a muscle. I'll come lead you out. Feels low. But- Wait! Lynn! That's the women's side! We've booked the whole place, so it's not like anyone's in there. But- What's wrong? Over there. That looks like a blind spot. What? You're peeping too, Flynn? They ought to put up a warning outside too, or something bad could... Hey, did you say me too? Uh, yeah, you'd be the last person to peep on anyone, Flynn! Who exactly were you lumping me in with? Well, Master Carol is about the age when things become tempting. Huh? While I sympathize with your growing urges, such crimes are unforgivable. Well, why are you taking his side? I didn't even do anything! Woof. Ah, oh, sorry to keep you waiting, Repeat. Shall we get out now? Uh, it's all Raven's fault they got messed up ideas about me. Now then, we shall return to our duties. Alright, take good care of the knights and his highness. Yes, yes sir. sir! Oh, Captain Flynn! I made something to strengthen the armor with rare materials that I got out of that container. Please, take it with you. I cried the following, Spike Armor, worn by the mysterious Secret Strike Team. It seems to have been reinforced for more powerful tackles. Uh, um... What is it? I... I just wanted to thank you for the kindness you have shown us. This is my way of recognizing your enduring service to the Knights, come rain or shine. Well, even so, thank you very much. You trust those two with your life, don't you, Flynn? That goes without saying. He wouldn't let him out of his sight if he didn't. Both Sodia and Witcher have gone above and beyond what I have expected of them. That's why I want to go above and beyond what they expect of me, to return the favor. I'm with that cat-eyed lass. You're a dream of a leader, Flynn. I agree. Well, I I don't not agree. Um, what exactly are you talking about? I think the next time you ask, she'll be more than happy to accompany you. H hey, don't put words into my mouth. Oh, well, thank you. I look forward to it. Well, well, if I'm not busy. Huh? Wait, what's going on? How churlish of you, Master Carol. Obviously, they've agreed to go on a date. What? <laughs> that was not my Carol voice. What? I can't even do a Carol voice anymore. I'm laughing too hard. What? No, we haven't. It's unbecoming to tease people like that, Yuri. Yeah, yeah. Why is it always me? My Carol voice is not working today, but all right. Like I guess that was a thing. <laughs> what? What did we just get for Flynn? <laughs> um, spike armor. Oh no! <laughs> it's just big spikes for his armor. I don't like it. Oh, can I put it on the? Oh, it doesn't work for that one. <laughs> I thought it would, but it didn't. Okay. 
Well, that's a whole thing. Thanks for that, I, I guess. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. I guess we'll just go then? Alright, there's one thing that I really wanted to check because uh, there's a, a certain group of places that we didn't get to go to in a sense. So like, we've been in the air credit, but what happens if we try to go all the way to the end of them? That's the real question here. And I think maybe now is the time to answer it. The path in this one is in a different place, I've just realised. Yeah, it's not over this way, it's just through here. Assuming this goes to the same place. It does. Well, let's try going through here for a little bit because, you know what? We have a bit of time left. I can't find that many other side quests. I know that we have other ones, but they're not triggering. So let's do this. Uh, okay, so we have... Maybe I should have saved before coming in here. We have a lot of fire enemies. These look like the ones in the desert, though. So we should be alright against them, I think. Err... Uh, I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I'm just going wherever. Because obviously I've not been in here before. Uh, hi there. I'm not going to fight you if I can help it. Oh, I, I got a Flare 1B. Are you kidding? I've already learned everything off of that, though. Oh. Now I have two of them. Oh, well. That's fine. I could have used that before I did all my synthesis. Whoa, whoa, look how glowy that thing went. The, the sorcerer's ring's all red from the air? What, what the heck? This is so weird. Also, the layout reminds me a little bit of Reloise and I don't like it. Oh, no, there's nothing there, okay. Uh, and then this is just back towards the start, right? Or, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay. We'll go this way then. Why are you so close to the ground, you stupid bat? I'm gonna go this way instead. It's it's in the ground. It's swimming in the in the ground. That's 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 how bats work now. They swim in the ground. Apparently. Okay. Well I guess we have to go this way then. Oh, we have to fight this. You're weak. You're a hack! You're whack! <laughs> I love that. It's so cute. Okay, uh, let's continue going through here then. Because it doesn't look like the enemies are new or anything, they're just older ones. Desert enemies. But they're in an air credit. Which kind of makes sense given the whole fire and lava theme of this place. Uh, okay. This looks like it might be the way we're supposed to go. But I might also be wrong because I've not done this before. Green light stone? Oh, they're- okay. I need those. Um, or I needed those. I no longer really need those. I have many synthesis items. There's so much lava. Oh my goodness. I. Hmm. This is an interesting dungeon though. So hold on, are you just gonna give me mostly enemies? Because I feel like I should just use a holy ball if I'm not actually gonna fight anything and these are nothing new. Like, they're not even super strong enemies or anything, they're just the same ones. As far as I can tell. Well, in any case, I, I guess we're just gonna explore as much as- Oh! Oh, that doesn't look good. Why is there a save point? Is that a save point? It looks like it's probably a save point. It's not a save point. What is it? Oh, it is. Uh, I'm gonna chuck- uh, Flynn in my party. L let's see how this goes because I, I don't know what this is going to be about. Uh, what am I looking for? Am I maybe supposed to go up on the podium there? That's probably it. Okay, let's let's do this. There's a formula but it isn't active. Do I need to set something on 
fire with my sorcerer's ring? Probably. Uh, okay. I guess we need to find whatever it is that makes the formula active then. Uh, so what we'll do is just keep running around until we find it. Alright, I think we're going to go anti-clockwise and go to the Tolbikian air cranny next. And hopefully there might be something there. These are the two that we haven't really explored that much. Um, I just kind of ducked my head into both of them, so that should be alright. Um, they all have the paths, I believe, so... Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we just head back into the, the lava place and see if it's any different. Which I'm guessing it should be, because... I... I don't know, I just... I, I guess it should be different. Okay, so hold on. Is it the side right? Oh, okay, there's another cave to the to the left this time. Right this time. I can't tell my left from my right, apparently. They've hidden these seamlessly in the game, haven't they? Like, the, the pathways. Because these definitely weren't there before. Huh. Alright, let's see if this is actually any different. This might just be wasting my time. I'm kind of lost, actually. Oh! I found another one of these. There's a formula that is not active. Okay. Alright, we're at the Yurzarian air cranny. If we don't find anything here, we've got one other air cranny to look at, but... I I'm starting to wonder if we'll actually find anything, to be honest. I mean, again, we've, we've only done two out of four. We've only done half of them. But... We're, we're not having much luck with this. I must be missing something for this side quest, surely. I mean, I, I assume if I check it, then it's going to say the same thing. There's a formula, but it's not active. Maybe it's a post-game thing? Is this a post-game thing? I thought this was not a post-game thing, and that there was a different thing that was a post-game thing. But I might be wrong. This might be a post-game thing. All right, we are at our last air credit, which is the first one we visited, incidentally. Hopefully, there's something here. I can only hope. I mean, clearly not a seed or anything, but maybe we'll have a seed in the sunken grotto. Maybe they'll be like, "Oh, we figured out the formula somehow." I don't even know what it means, but they they did it somehow. Let's just let's just go and, and see if we can find the sigil and stuff, and if that'll do anything. Guard it. Ooh, what does that do? Fire resistance prevents illness. Well, kind of need fire resistance when you're surrounded by this much lava. Could have used this in the fire trial. <laughs> Or in the, the volcano in Brazaria. Mount Killerouse, that's the name. How did I forget Mount Killerouse? Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Let's let's hop on this. What kind of formula is this? Hang on, I'll look it up. Looks like it's for some sort of warp technique that's fallen out of use. What a f what's a formula doing here? One thing's for sure, someone's been here. And if there's a formula this deep in an air cranny, this place must be important. Well, well, the old man still got it. There's definitely a complex seal on it, tough enough to keep novices out anyway. What do you mean, still got it? So, can you crack it? You heard me say novices, right? Give me a second. Nothing scary gonna- Nothing scary's gonna jump out at us, right? We'll see. I bet it's hiding some serious treasure. Wouldn't that be nice? Got it. Ah, Rita. Come on, guys, after her. Rita. Oh, Rita, you okay? I'm fine. Where are we? 
Well, I still see lots of lava, so we can't be too far from where we found the formula. The formula? Yeah, all the air is flowing toward that spot in the center. That must mean... There's something over there, you guys! Is that... a sword? We'll never be able to tell from here. Then let's go check it out! Okay! This is a whole thing! Okay, there's a, there's a safe point there, so that's fine. This this is a cool magic circle. Um, What on earth is this place? Oh, that's that's a fancy sword. That's a fancy dancy sword. Uh okay, let's let's have a look around before we go touching strange swords. Because I I don't really want to touch things that I don't know what they are. Uh are these just four different entrances? If I touched all four different sigils, would I be able to access every single one? Is that what these are or are they mini boss areas? What's with all the swords here? Oh, what is this place? It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. But I'm very curious, so that's cool. Um, I guess we're gonna go and touch the weird ass sword. Uh, yeah, nothing else we can do. Let's go touch the sword. Jeez, how many swords are there? This reminds me of so fair. Except those weren't confined to one location like this. I've got a bad feeling. There it is. That's got to be it, just looking at the shape of it. So that's what Ragquaria looks like. Care to share with the group? This is Ragquarion, the Sword of Prayer. Oh my gosh, he's right! Uh, yeah. Hiska and Shasta were looking for that, right? It's even got the image of the goddess on it! I can't believe I forgot about it. I remember seeing it the instant I joined the knights. I only saw it that once, but I'm still ashamed. So, why is it all the way out here? Ah! Ugh! What is that? Beats me! I don't play with dolls! Knock it off, this is serious! Is that a golem? Was the air from that formula meant to power this Blastia? What the heck? Does this mean the sword wasn't stolen in the first place? Let's talk more fighting, it's headed straight for us! I guess this is a thing, okay! Uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this, guys. Oh, it's only level 50, okay. We, we might be okay then. Let's try this. Ow, hi. I'm lucky I have the last fencer to help me out with this. So Sword Dancer, I think is an optional boss in a few different Tales games? I remember seeing it on the side quest list for Abyss, but I never actually fought it. I think it was Abyss anyway. Maybe it's in Berseria as well. I don't think it is, but... I think I've got everything in Berseria, but... You never know, you never know. Oh my goodness, I actually got a combo on it. Oh dang it! I thought I might get two combos, but I didn't. Two over limits, rather. Okay, the fact that we're like 20 levels higher than this thing is probably going in our favor. You know what I've not done yet? Estelle and, and uh, Flynn's Mystic Cars. I should probably do those. Do I have them on? Uh, He's got his, his sword on with it. You know what? Sure, let's try this. 
Uh, hold on, what arts have I got on him again? Okay, I can use uh, Dragon Swarm and Demonic Circle and stuff. Hi, what do we do? Light Dragon Destruction! You know, it's kind of you cathartic to use that. that. It's kind of cathartic to use that against someone and not have it used against me. Wait, why couldn't I use an art there for a second? Oh, this guy's weak. Like, I mean, I've never had this much ease against a boss at this level. I'm either really overleveled or this thing's not that powerful. Maybe I was supposed to fight it way earlier. Huh. Oh well. I guess we're here now though. And I got to Flint's Mystic Art, so I'm fine with this. I like this music as well. That was cool. Okay, I got some- there were some pow hammers in there, I saw them. Oh, nice! Dazzling spin! I forgot we had the arc. Okay. Hey, come back here. Maybe I should use a different combo for a little bit. Dai get back here! Okay. Ooh. Nope, he's on the floor. Okay. Uh, you know what? I need a I need a pineapple gel. I I kind of used all my TP. Oops. Everyone's really used all the TP to be honest, but you know it's fine. We're all having a, just a, a time wailing on this thing. Oh, I got a door limit. Dang it! Okay, this is fine. Again, it's not actually that difficult. Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna get 50 hits on that one, that's sad. Hmm. Is it worth trying to do a stealth Mr. Cart? I mean, out of our current party, Stealth's the only one who's not used it, so... I might just use Yuri's. Since I am Yuri. I should have used freaking Brutal Bag. Oh well, never mind. I'm gonna have to start using Brutal Bag after, after I get the full combo. Yeah, so... Nice! There we go! Okay, that was a pretty cool combo. I wanted to do my Mystic Art, but uh, it ran out. Which makes sense. Okay. Stop guarding! I know you're almost dead, but come on. Okay. At least this boss doesn't fall on the ground. Makes it a lot easier just to combo into Oblivion. Okay, someone give me a pineapple gel, please. Dang it! I was so close! I'm focusing really hard on punching this thing. Very well. That was so easy. Uh, you're not actually kidding. That was really easy. Fifty-two thousand gold, nice. Yeah, I mean, I I think we maybe made it too easy for ourselves, or at least I did by over leveling. But you know, that happened. Soulless demon blade, huh?
I can do even better than this. Nice. I'm even stronger now. Also nice. Yeah, another level. Also nice. The path of training goes ever on. The path of training goes ever on. Okay, Flynn. Ugh, it's no use. I can't even touch it. It's trying to absorb air. It must have some sort of defense mechanism that's preventing you from touching it. And I'd bet money that mechanism is tied to the golem. Isn't there some way to release it, Rita? Not right now, anyway. We've got to find a way to activate the Blastia and disable the defense mechanism. And how are we gonna do that? How about activating the other formulas? The sword draws its power from the air they release, so if we give it more power, maybe we'll be able to free it. Aye, there'd be tons of inactive formulas about. Good eyes. Not to mention, any locked formulas we find might be connected to the Blastia, giving us a hint as to what we can and can't activate from here. If they're like the one we just unlocked, no dice. My guess is all the formulas lead to similar places. Then we've all got it. Then all we've got to do is look for them. You sure you're up for this? You want to return that sword to the knights, don't you? I do. Thanks, Yuri. Well, I, I guess this is a thing. Okay. Well, we have a skit here, real quick. Seek new heights. That technique. Such power in my grasp. You really are amazing, Flynn. What a marvelous display of skill. Forgive me, Lady Estelise, but it is not enough to satisfy me. Hmm? I must hone myself further for the sake of all. I... I see. Well, I'm sure you have the potential for even greater heights, Flynn. That guy never takes a break, does he? <laughs> he should really be happy with his accomplishment. Pardon me, Yuri, but would you train with me for a while? I'm still far from mastering it. Hold on, you want to train by using that move on me? Don't worry. I'm sure you can withstand it, Yuri. You're really serious, aren't you? Um, I think Yuri's having more flashbacks to the amount of times he died on hard mode whenever Flynn used his friggin' Mystic Art. Or even not with his Mystic Art. <laughs> oh god. So, this, okay. This is a whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna end off the episode because we, we kinda ran out of time, but... On the next episode, I guess we're gonna have to go back to all the air credit and unlock uh, all the formulas, so that'll be interesting. So yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including SideQuest Hell in Yumanju and here in the air credits in the Sunken Grotto. Um, as well as the couple of scenes we've got in Arnian and just in other places. If you have any thoughts on any of that, feel free to let me know down below. And what's more, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.